Hey gang, it's Ron from itmatchkey.com, and today I want to talk about um, getting an A-plus certification. If you're not familiar with um, the A-plus certification, that's usually the first certification that people get that want to break into IT. So you can look at it kind of like um, your high school diploma. Um, a lot of people and a lot of employers are going to expect you to have that when you start your job search. So if you're unfamiliar with the actual exam, it's actually um, a two part exam. So it's a 90 minute exam for both. And both of them will have a maximum of 90 questions. So you got 90 minutes to knock out 90 questions. Right. So um, this exam is a little different because, like I said, it's a two part exam. Um, and you have to pass both exams to be fully A plus certified. So one question that comes up a lot is, do I have to take both exams at the same time? No, you don't. Um, you can take one today and take one a couple days later or a couple months later. But to get fully A plus certified, you have to pass both. And you don't have to take one before the other. Um, there's two different um, parts. Like I said, one of them is 1001 uh, as, of, as of this recording, uh, July 2021 and a thousand two so i always take a thousand one and then a thousand two but you can take a thousand two and then run back to a thousand one whichever way you feel comfortable right so we're gonna go through what to expect on each version right so on the a thousand one you got to get a 675 to pass now a uh, comptia recommends that you have 12 months of experience as an it support specialist before you knock out this exam now uh, my students a lot of my students at itmatchkey.com don't have any experience before they knock out this exam and actually um right now um when they go through the zero to hero program they actually knock out a plus in 30 days right so we got the program and they knock it out so uh, whether you go uh with us or if you try and go at it alone the things that you're going to expect on this exam are the following so the first thing is mobile devices the next thing is networking after that you go into hardware and after that you go into virtualization and cloud computing and last but not least you go into hardware and network troubleshooting so um, for the thousand and one the biggest emphasis is going to be in troubleshooting all right so troubleshooting and then hardware is going to be a close second so hardware and network troubleshooting is going to make up the majority of the test so when you study and make sure that you're studying troubleshooting uh, analytical thinking and just pretty much um, what do you do when shit breaks right so you need to make sure that you are comfortable with troubleshooting okay now we got the thousand and one out the way mobile devices networking hardware virtualization and cloud computing then hardware and network troubleshoot next up we got the 1002 so the 1002 is the same setup you got 90 minutes um, to knock out 90 questions and on this one you got to get 700 out of 900 first part 675 out of 900 this part uh 700 out of 900 so what you can expect on the second part is operating systems security software troubleshooting and operational procedures just like the first part the majority of the exam is going to be talking about troubleshooting troubleshooting operating systems trouble troubleshooting different softwares and stuff like that okay so troubleshooting and operational procedures are the two things that you need to focus on primarily to make sure that you're ready for the exam so in summary a plus is a two part exam uh, It's geared towards um, beginners. It's an entry level certification. It is a certification that can get your foot in the door. Um, roles such as IT support specialists, um, help desk, those types of roles. And it's a really good uh, entry point for most people. It's where the majority of my students start at itmetrics.com. It's where I started and um, it's a great stepping stone to bigger and better things but if you want to knock it out you can head over to itmetrics.com we're currently enrolling 
in our zero to hero program. Uh, once those slots are filled up, uh, you have to wait until the next enrollment period. Other than that, I'll see you in class.